Are we together now? Yes. Romans chapter 1 verse 10 and 11. Paul himself was, was teaching and he said he desired that he should come to them by the will of God. Verse 11. It says, for I long to see you. Why? That I may impart unto you some spiritual gift. Why? To the end that ye may be established. In other words, your, your establishment will still be wanting until you receive a measure of impartation. I can teach you, I can write you apostolic letters, but there are levels you cannot step into until these graces come on you. And it's my prayer that something will come upon someone today in the name of Jesus Christ. You've heard me teach you about the anointing. We've had series and series about the power of God. Can I be honest with you? I, I, it will not... I will never stop teaching this until you get it that the possibilities that are in your life among other factors are defined by the kind and the level of grace that is upon you the possibilities on your life are not just defined by your being born again they are not just defined by your having a bottle of oil around your house thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over he does not anoint the cup it is your head he anoints we can see what is on your head by looking at what is on your cup these times that we live in right now require greater manifestations of the power of god you cannot tell hell is releasing the best of his arsenals to tie down destinies even as we approach the coming of jesus satan is releasing the best of his arsenals to tear down lives and destinies but he says say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways he says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are people today who will wake up and just say my head my head and by afternoon they are dead there are people today eat being eaten up by sicknesses you take them to the hospital there are so many doctors here you diagnose them the doctors will tell you that there there is nothing at all i think it was one of the miracle services in abuja where i was ministering to a woman who had been pregnant for over two years it was on video in the presence of everybody not some stage managed thing coming from somewhere why should a woman be pregnant for for two years you are seeing all the signs of pregnancy and you go to the hospital and the machine shows that every her stomach is empty and okay what sort of thing is that can i be honest with you wickedness is real low. if it does not happen to you it doesn't mean it's not happening I think it was in koinonia here i thought how that somebody I, 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 was it that a spirit slapped the person or something from the realm of the spirit and it happened physically from that time that person began to deteriorate you know how an hiv patient is eating up but there's no hiv now explain to me what is eating me up ah wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name i made a covenant with god and my destiny that for as long as i am alive and breathing i will become part of that battle axe that will tear down the gates of hell and open up the destinies of people and if you found your way to this place tonight i assure you by the god of heaven that everything that will not let you go in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god he must go for your sake tonight 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 please sit down don't do ministry without the power of god what are you doing the power of god is beyond just falling down and standing up and touching people we are talking of shifting and changing the climate over people's lives that someone comes to you full of all kinds of things do you know there are people who are working physically but in the realm of the spirit they've been appointed unto death from the realm of the spirit they finish with them they are just waiting for the day that they sign that any
anything can kill them even if it's a bicycle oppression is real it's not enough to receive miracles you must receive impartation please help those that the power of god is coming i just saw light just coming right now upon people the light of the power of god will soon stand up to pray but i just saw that light and i'm praying i'm seeing like four or five people inside and outside the lord is saying that he sent you here because there is a grace that your region requires and that that grace that anointing in this service that grace is coming upon you i don't know help them please i don't know where they are but in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god let tonight be the beginning of a new season i shift you by the anointing i shift you by the anointing i shift you by the anointing in the name of jesus christ please sit down moses said when i go and stand before him who shall i tell him has sent me I can't go and stand before Pharaoh and just give him jargons and theory. Thus saith the God of the Hebrews, let my people go. Pharaoh will ask me, who sent you? You need impartation. Listen to me. There are many of you, certain doors in life and ministry will never open until there is a constructive and intentional impartation. There are some wells you cannot dig by yourself. God did not design it that way. Here is where the pride and the foolishness of this our generation comes from. Where everybody just feels, don't worry, I can know Jesus by myself. Nonsense. Go and read your Bible and see. Even when Jesus had an encounter with Paul, he still referred him back to the church for the continuity of his growth. It was Ananias that came and prayed for him. It was not Jesus that got him filled with the Holy Ghost. Ananias. There are cheap doors that can be opened if you understand the mystery of impartation. It is not that your efforts are not good. It is that the grace that sponsors what you are doing is not there. I once watched a video on the internet and there are these metals that can crush anything. They use it to crush cars. And they have the different strength of the metals. There are certain metals, especially steel, where you throw it, the machine just stops. Because the capacity cannot crush that metal. But there are others like cans and the rest, it will just crush them like... And I said, ah, this is it. Your possibilities are not just based on what should be done, but the kind of energy. The same thing that cannot crush under certain machines, they shift it to another heavy duty one, and it will crush it like paper. Can I tell you, you are prayed about certain situations. You are limited by the level of grace that you are approaching it with. I tell you, this is why God sends people to come with higher levels of unction. Our generation does not respect altars. We don't respect the sacrifices of death that has brought certain levels of power. It is why people can remain stunted over something that a door can cheaply open for you for. This is not an arrogant statement. Learn this. That's how God built the church impartation is necessary you are here and you are saying look god has called me into the prophetic into the apostolic into the miraculous i have seen my limit there is more that i need there are many of you here you should not be at this level spiritually you should not be at this level financially there are many, many, many daughters of Zion looking at me. There are certain levels of superior unction you should have carried by now. What are you waiting for? Can I tell you? You know the kind of grace on your life by the testimonies that are recycled around your life. There are certain testimonies that cannot be captured in your life with certain levels of grace. So tonight, I believe that this is one of the major things that will happen in the miracle service. People are sick, we can easily pray on that one. But there are some of you who God is saying enough of receiving from a man of God. The season has come to begin to use you to bless others. But I cannot send you to go that way. Not the way you are. Please help them. The power of the Holy Spirit 
it says ah lord god thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power i know you think it's just his speakings but it is by his great power can i tell you this the, do not sit down and watch the devil tear down your family do not sit down and watch the devil destroy the life of those you love and keep giving explanation every time you have prayed and fasted and spoken the word and nothing happens there needs to be an upgrade to the grace that is on your life no matter what kind of car you buy it's still fuel that moves it and if your tank is empty even if it is a mercedes benz even if it's a brand new car it will not move can i tell you this go and ask mechanics car mechanics there are certain cars that use certain kinds of engine oil it's not every car you don't just carry this black engine oil that looks as if it's already expired and just pour in certain cars no the higher and the greater the car they can tell you one of that engine oil is 65,000 and they will say you need four of it you may not find that for an ordinary car somewhere for those of you who think anointing is anointing think again no i don't know where i'm staying in this area i just i believe that someone the season god has told you many things don't make god look like a liar too pride don't make god look a paracatos don't make god look like a liar too pride god wants to move you he has spoken things concerning your destiny don't make him look like a liar I will leave the last aspect our time has gone in the next five minutes i don't know which one of these four things your heart is panting for you are going forget about who is by your left and right cry to the god of heaven this night if it's an encounter please pray if it's transformation please pray if it's a miracle please pray if it's an impartation please pray go ahead and hallelujah please take this issue of impartation seriously your life will remain stunted until the requisite level of grace you need impartation is not what you do bold face for if it is not there it is not there you will need to cry i believe that everyone has something from heaven for him i like you to pray and say my portion from heaven I must receive you in full tonight. Lift your voice and pray. In full. My portion. That fire that left heaven for the sake of my destiny. I must obtain by grace tonight. Please pray. The barantas katabella katusha bregade. The braske dega dega kataboko shodo bagata balakata. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now listen to me, please. There is a lot that we're going to do, but it will be very, very fast. 
one of the graces that I see, I don't know why God is starting with an impartation. I'm seeing people's prayer altars. They are, they are very, some of you, most of what you have been calling is just nonsense. You sit down and sleep for six hours and pray for 30 minutes and think you pray for seven hours. There is a real grace for prayer and intercession. And I'm stretching my hands now. There are men and women, hear me, the altars that need to be dislodged don't just require seasonal prayer. I don't know where you are, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, from inside this auditorium and outside, everyone who must take this grace, take that grace now, take that grace now, fire upon your altar, fire upon your altar, men and women together, grace to pray. Bring them out. An impartation of that grace upon your prayer altar. Men and women together. Please bring them out. This set of people, bring them out. Grace for prayer. Grace for prayer is coming upon you. A heavy mantle from heaven. For the sake of your family, some of you have been consecrated tonight to be the altars that will tear down evil over your family. And I declare by God, may that grace come upon you now. The times that we live in cannot afford with you. Shock him with your life. Hallelujah. Now I'm still praying. God is doing an impartation. There are some of you, there are prophetic dimensions of visions. God has spoken to you about it. But perhaps the season had not come then. But right now the Lord is telling me, He wants to revive this grace for vision. Genuine vision. I don't know where you are, inside and outside. Some of you used to have it, but you lost it through carelessness. Right now, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Prophetic dreams. Visions of the Spirit. Visions. Multiplied visions. Multiplied visions. The eyes that can see. The eyes that can see, the eyes of the seer, may God grant you access to it. The eyes that can see, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. Anyone here who is called into the ministry of prophetic intercession, wherever you are, Mates Kototobakata, whether inside or outside, may the mantle that follows your call may it land upon your life now. May it may it land upon your life now. The mantle for your call for prophetic intercession may it come upon your destiny now. Hallelujah. Who is Jumai? I'm hearing a name Jumai. 
we may not have one i want to pray for the sick but i'm hearing the name jumai who is that please who is jumai i want to pray for you place your hand on your eyes the person i'm talking about is outside wearing pink like pink you are from outside baby pink is there someone like that where is she coming from Outside. Overflow what? This side. Where is she coming from? That's what I'm asking. What's your name? Jumai. Come and stand here. God wants to take to take away the, the rain of darkness over your life and your family. Please put your hand on your eyes, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command this demonic yoke that wants to make you to go blind completely. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle for you right now. I command that altar to leave you now. Release our vision in the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you coming from? I'm Kaduna State. You are from Kaduna State? Yes, sir. Put your hands on your head. Father, the plague of witchcraft over this lady and her family. What God is saying to one, he's saying it to all. I declare right now. Let fire from heaven consume that altar now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That everything that is not of God, let it dry up right now. <laughs> Madam, your name is Jumai? Yes. From where? Yes. From Zaria, Graceland, Zaria. No, where are I'm, you from? I'm sick. Hold on, where are you from? From Graceland. I want to pray for you. Yes, you believe in Jesus? Yes. Sir. I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit and the devil wants to cripple your leg. I'm seeing that the devil wants to plan yes, that one day they will amputate your leg. Yes, sir. Look at this. Look at her legs. Come and stand here, madam. I, I'm not, I'm just seeing this. Look at this. Because this is what I'm seeing in a vision. Look at this. Look at this. What I'm seeing in the vision, I'm seeing a woman without legs that they've cut one of the legs. Hold on. Madam, look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? This is not just a medical issue. This is witchcraft. Let me speak over someone. If there is any altar that will not let you go, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, may fire fall upon that altar. Oh my god have you gone to please don't be embarrassed madam we don't intend to embarrass you have you gone to the hospital yes for three years sir. for three years what happened to you just like that nothing just, just like that yes it just swell up was it just like that joe went down was it just like that his children died <clears throat> any negotiation in the realm of the spirit over your destiny without your permission so that you will only be a victim I cancel that negotiation now. Negotiation Negotiation over the destinies of men. Any spirit in fraternity with the realm of the spirit to negotiate your destiny for destruction. Be delivered now in the name of Jesus. Listen, please take everything we are doing very serious tonight. God cannot be playing games with you like this. Don't miss your time of visitation. Madam, don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for you. Yes, there is power in the name of Jesus. We have to rebuke. You see, the reason why this wound will not heal is not just because I know there might be medical explanations, uh, ulcers and all of that. But when the spirit behind it does not leave, no matter what you put, it will not heal. Imagine that this were your mother or your sister or your daughter. The devil is a liar. The Bible says he's a thief and he comes not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. Jesus says, I am come that ye may have life and have it abundantly. Mama, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you. I don't know what this is called, but in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, let there be healing for you right now. 
whatever swelling whatever wounds whatever ulcers whatever whatever it is called there is a name that is above every other name and i declare from this night this thing begins to dry up in the name of jesus christ let every wound let everything around your leg may you begin to feel relief right now in the name of jesus and so shall it be by the power of the holy spirit the lord is showing me i don't know i'm seeing a vision my god we have to work with time i'm seeing a vision and i'm seeing someone you had a dream and in that dream you saw a tree like a very big tree that was just what you saw from that day it's like your life and your family things have gone down please who is that person i want don't tell lies if you are not the person just sit quietly your turn for visitation will come is there someone like that inside and outside and um, the lord is just giving me that you had a vision and a dream or so and you saw this tree please if there is someone like that let me have the person out i want to pray for you then i'm i'm praying for someone you are currently holding a photo you are outside you are holding a photo like some pictures in your hand come wherever that person is please quickly quickly we have to pray i'm seeing the person with photos you came with photos Where are you coming from? I'm from Zara, yes, sir. Outside? From You're coming yes, from outside? Sir. outside sir. I want to pray for you. Please stand here. Is it Silvanus or Sylvester? Silv Silvanus. Is there someone like that? I just heard that name. I want to pray for you quickly. I hope you wrote your prayer request. He's here. What's he here for? The dream okay i'll pray for you hmm. now that i just mentioned three let me describe for you what i saw because there will be deliverance for that person that family those people now i'm seeing this tree and i'm seeing written on it benway state this is what i'm seeing i don't know who that person is right now i'm speaking that person i'm seeing overflow too in the spirit the power of god is coming on that person I don't know what demonic what thing has to do with this fraternity with demon spirits but in the name of Jesus it must give way this night it must give way this night for all of you who are in front here I want to pray for you I'm hearing Agatha Agatha a name I don't know whose name is that Agatha I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus my dear this lady holding what where are you coming from from overflow tree no no not where are you seated where are you coming from Akwai, like I'm Isaiah here yeah, but I'm from Akwai, hmm. there is someone that God is going to deliver you right now from substance abuse this is what I'm just seeing this don't I'm not asking you to come out but I'm going to pray for you there anything that can be can can you can smoke or you can snuff or you can take it you can't see it and pass off it's not like you're a bad person but this is a wicked spirit that wants to destroy your destiny I'm seeing the power of God breaking this thing now I'm seeing the power of God breaking this thing now many of you don't know that addiction is not something that is normal you it's not an issue of willpower there is a spirit that is behind it my dear look at me in the name of jesus christ move the mic now i'm praying for her i'm not asking her a question in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing something like fire on you and the lord is saying there is deliverance coming for your family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my friend the tap this gentleman where are you coming from i'm coming from zango sir zango yes is here can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You love Jesus? I love Jesus. You are as saved as your friends. If you are for Jesus and your friends are for Satan, a part of you is still with Satan. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are as saved as the company that you keep. If you love Jesus 
and a part of you is still wallowing with people who are visionless and are not going anywhere that part of you connected to them is what satan will use to destroy you so i'm going to pray for you huh when i make the altar call for a dedication you come and join let god give you a new beginning for all of you who are here in the name of jesus christ the power of god is coming on one of you i don't know who but i just saw that light just come on you these people standing in front it's a supernatural light and god is saying he's opening a new chapter even for your family i'll pray for you quickly and then we'll take time and minister deliverance god is opening a new chapter for your family in the name of jesus christ god is opening a new chapter mama this woman please come where are you coming from, ma? I'm from Samaru. You are from Samaru. Where are you from? I Edogo. No, no, no. I mean, when I say where are you from, I, I mean the state of I'm from Edo. Edo State. Yes. I want to pray for you. Please say after me, the power, the power. Of, witchcraft of witchcraft is broken, is broken over my life. Over my say it again. The power, the power of, witchcraft of witchcraft is broken over my, broke life. Over my life. In the name of Jesus, mama, you will not die anything connected to witchcraft will take your life and destroy your family by the blood of the eternal covenant i curse it right now i just saw a vision about you that's why i'm praying for you i hope you are not embarrassed ma in the name of jesus i bring you life i bring you deliverance in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ this may do wrong god bless you please return back to your seat i want to minister deliverance now this is the part in this miracle service that really excites me because in one moment one moment yokes and spirits that have been sitting over destinies just go like that and the lord will start in this row this second row you are seeing this one here i mean this very row but it's going to affect everybody outside hear me it's time to end demonic cycles demonic patterns dreams yokes what you call rise and fall manifestations of spirits that come to molest you in your dreams dreams seeing yourself secondary school writing exams that never finish an old house all those yokes the bible tells us that we have been called out of every tribe please anyone under this category as i'm mentioning just bring them out we're going to pray generally but i want to pray for you right now don't just come out at random it's the power of god that brings you out once they are under the anointing, you can bring them out. I want to pray for you. This row here, just lift your hands. I'm just obeying what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, I declare. We are going to shout Jesus shortly. But right now, I'm seeing fire just landing on people from this row. There are, there are all kinds of demonic altars that God wants to dislodge. Tying down the destinies of men. Some of you are just moving physically. But you do not know that there are ancient doors. That stop people that went before you right now i declare may that fire come on you now may that fire land on you now may that fire land in the name of jesus christ i bring you deliverance by the god of heaven bring them out please we are going to pray please be your brother's keeper whether you are an usher or not you can't leave it just to the ushers or to the protocol i'm about to pray hear me whether you are coming here for the first time or you have been here everything that is not of god that has tied down your life you have prayed you have first said it has refused to leave you at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name all kinds of yokes and altars must give way overflow one overflow two everywhere father I pray anyone here under the yoke of darkness every family here under the siege of evil now is the time for their deliverance are you ready koinonia one two three shout Jesus hold on please now listen to me we are here to pray we are people who believe in the power of god can i tell you i want to be honest with you if you are from plateau state kaduna state benway state nasarawa state taraba 
kogi around this middle belt I'm, I'm i'm not a i'm not a negative person but there is a spirit that has sat on this region that will not let people move forward in the name that is above all names right now let the fire of the holy ghost any family under that demonic pattern be delivered now 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 I have seen sincere people who love Jesus with all their heart but they may not seem to be able to rise to break certain things they can they don't seem to be able to rise at a global scale you get to a level these powers bring you down hear me every gentleman here whose destiny has been hijacked so that you don't move forward I'm about to push you prophetically and the power of God like a tornado will hit you right where you are in the name of Jesus by the voice of prophecy everyone here hear the sound of God's voice go forward now go forward go forward now go forward now go forward now hallelujah pay attention we're still praying a graduate after 10 years no job after five years no job you get a job and two weeks they've removed you no job again i'm going to pray for the sick but i want to rebuke patterns of sicknesses that come as devourers to eat up people's finances the moment God begins to lift one person, everybody in the family starts getting sick. You spend all your money treating the sickness. When the money is down, the people don't get fine. Any family under that kind of siege, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God, let the power of God touch you where you are right now. Let the power of God touch you where you are right now. Touch you where you are right now. Kalimara Suzia Dabalakata. My God, I just saw something. I saw light and I saw written KB. KB, K A B B I. That's a state. Anybody who is from that region and there is any power that wants to frustrate your destiny in the name that is above all names. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let fire fall on those altars now. Let fire fall on those. I release your destiny by the power of the Holy Spirit. I release your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing this vision that God always shows me where I see the map of the nation and I see the power of God touching a region. And the moment I mention that region, the power of God begins to move to those who are planted within that region. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. Now I'm seeing this vision again. And I'm seeing the power of God go to Benway State. This is what I'm seeing. Right now I declare Benway. Everything. I don't know what is this. Aleku. L -A, like A L E K U. In the name of Jesus. Anyone from that region. The north, the south, the east, and the west of Benway. If there is any force holding you down, please hear me. In the name of Jesus, be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I don't know what that deity is, but in the name of Jesus, we call it by name and we curse it by the God of heaven. We call a Pakatos Kotobakata. We curse it by the God of heaven.
That is supposed to be some deity or something like that. I'm sure it's something they worship. Aleku. In the name of Jesus, I'm saying it again. If there is anyone under the yoke of that spirit, whether you are here or your family members are here, wherever they are, you are connected to them by blood. I arrest that spirit right now and I release your destiny. I arrest that spirit right now and I release your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you.